again, this is Steve from Specialty Auto Sports, located in beautiful East Tennessee. Lisa and I invite you along to take a little short ride with us on the backcountry roads of East Tennessee, demonstrating some of the features and qualities of our most recently finished 356A Coupe. This particular coupe is a outlaw version, which has a turbocharged 315 plus horsepower engine. It is a five-speed transmission car. It does enjoy the other high-performance features that we offer as standard parts in our car. Anti-lock brakes, four-wheel power disc brakes, Scott McPherson's truck front suspension, double wishbone rear suspension. Combine that with our mid-engine balance, you've got a true high-performance sports car, not just a car to drive around the blocks on a Sunday day. As all of our cars, they're very well sound dead and weatherproof so you can enjoy your car in many many more circumstances than a car that does not have these features. So while we take our drive I will show some of these features that we uh, enjoy on our car. To begin with, the gauges on this car are 914 Porsche. This was selected by the owner of the car in order to be able to have the black faces and the black bezels to go along with the black and stone gray motif that he selected for the car. The steering wheel is a custom built by Carrera here in Tennessee. It is a leather wrapped black to go along with that same black and stone gray motif. The headlight switch is located in the center of the dash. You pull it for park, for headlight, and if you elect, the driving light feature or fog light feature, you rotate it to the left to engage those. Just above that is your air conditioning fan control. There are three fan speeds. Your higher speed for a quick cool down or warm up and then your intermediate lower speeds for your cruising and lower temperature requirements. To the right of that, is a selector for the vent controls. This being a bi-level car, the vent controls the air coming from the floor, from the dash vents, are a blend of between the two, floor and dash fan. Or you can have a full heat heater, uh, defroster system, or de-icer system with our very effective high flow defroster system that we incorporate into the car. The two knobs next to the headlight switch are for temperature control. They can act independently or they can act in unison. But either way, you get your heat control or your air conditioning control from those two knobs. Below that is a radio, which appears to be a old push button dial face radio, but in fact it's a very modern radio. It has USB, iPod, MP3, AM, FM stereo with satellite capabilities and this particular model has Bluetooth. This is something you need to think about if your state requires hands-free driving while using your cell phone. Plus it's just a good idea to have anyway. To the right side, the passenger side, we have a very functional and useful glove box. Glove box is spacious, will hold quite a bit of uh, paperwork, maps, whatever. It also has inside the button for your four-way flasher and it is illuminated when your headlights or park lights are on as part of the dash light system. Another nice feature of this car is the cruise control. This car has cruise control. It's a Subaru system. It can be engaged by pressing the cruise select and then the set button. And as you'll see, that Lisa releases the car to the cruise control. It maintains the speed with hardly a uh, motion uh, up and down these hills. Very effective, very smooth, very useful cruise control. It can be disengaged in two ways. The normal way is just by tapping the brake with your foot. Or you can, if you elect, hit the cancel button, which is on the pod. Another nice feature is our dome light. It is, has three functions. One is completely off so that you can 
If you're working in the car and you don't want to leave the dome light on, you can click it to the off position. In the middle position, it is automatically will come on when you open the doors and it will dim off when you close the door. Another nice feature is that when the key is removed from the ignition, the, the light will come on automatically as you are beginning to exit the car and it will dim as it does when you close the door. The third feature is a map light feature. You can engage it to read a map or look for something you might have dropped on the floor or you're seeking in your little console. Nice feature and we find that to be very convenient. Sun visors on the coupes, very effective. Very nice if you face morning sun or evening sun while either going to work or coming home. Day-night mirror, stainless steel, good visibility front and rear all around. Something you should observe while the car is in fifth gear is the quiet ride. The lack of noise, engine noise, exhaust noise. You get a nice purr from the exhaust. That's what we all want to hear but you're not overwhelmed by noises. You'll notice a lot of YouTube videos from other cars, they're dubbed over with music because you can't hear anyway, but we're driving it about 55 miles per hour down a country road in a closed car with the air on, and what you're hearing is generally the sound levels that you experience. The Cabriolets aren't quite as quiet because of their cloth top, but they do share the same suspension, the same sound deadening, uh, as the coupes except where it's obvious that it can't be done. So once again, especially auto sports, producing cars that can be driven and enjoyed under a multitude of conditions, with reliability, with uh, comfort, and with sportiness. Thanks for taking this ride with us. We look forward that you visit with us on the future rides with the other cars that we'll be finishing for other clients. And maybe one day, hopefully, we'll be test driving your car and showing you a YouTube of that as well.